everybody. This is a very special and fun episode. I'm your host, D of FTO Nerd Talk. I got a super awesome, cool guest right now. Uh, the Golf Glam herself is with me today. Uh, do you prefer Marley? Is that a good way to introduce you? Call you call me Marley, yeah. Perfect. Marley of, of the Golf Glam. Uh, welcome to the show. Hi, hi. Happy to be here. Super stoked. Uh, yeah, you and me both. I've been following your stuff for a long time. Uh, of course, I, I started following your page for your aesthetics alone. Like you are absolutely like stunning. And oh. I don't, I don't used to say that to my guests. I don't, but uh, <laughs> I, <laughs> I feel like you make it a habit to, to, to put like the, the glam in golf. And I honestly like you to see multiple times with, with all your work. Thank you. Thank you so much. I, I really appreciate that. It was, it's, it's been a long time coming. So to hear it from, you know, someone like you and you do what you do. And I know that you appreciate not just the outside, but the whole, everything that goes into it. So I thank you so much. That means a lot. And like, when you say like, like the inside, like uh, I, you, you do a lot of this yourself. Like you do a lot of photography, you do a lot, a lot of the makeup, you do like a lot of like the wardrobe, you do a lot of this yourself, right? Literally everything. Guys, that is incredible. Like, cause like the hair is constantly changing. Like uh, you even find a way like to put your, your, your tattoo, your work out there, like in every single photograph also. Like, how do you, how do you manipulate and change like, like the, the tone and the light and the color and like, and of course the makeup in every single piece that you do? Honestly, I kind of just go for it. You know, I kind of have this moment where I'm just like, okay, I'm going to do this. I'm badass. It's going to look good no matter what. Even if I end up hating what I'm doing, like at the end of it all, I'm going to take like little bits and pieces and I'm going to learn from like anything that like I don't like. Because there's always going to be something that you don't like. And, always. you know, when essentially like I do consider myself an artist, but I'm also the canvas as well. So I'm seeing everything and I'm just like nitpicking and being self-conscious about so many things. And then I'll look back at old pictures and I'm like, this was great. <laughs> like, why was I so like, why was I being so annoying? So I think it's just, you just got to appreciate the whole, everything that goes into it. And in the end, it's either, it's going to be great or you're going to learn from it. Right. No, I get that completely. And uh, with with all of that, like with the, the being great or, you know, just failing yourself, but still going forward, do you have any out there that that now that you see that you can call out? Because I see you're Jessica Rabbit. I see like uh, a lot of, like, lot of green wigs. And I know like you recently have uh, joined the Hot Topic crew when getting your merch out there. Like, is there anything that you've done like in the past that you just look back and like, like that was so bad, but like, I'm really glad that I did it. Honestly, if it was, if it's that bad, I'm not going to post it. <laughs> I don't want to look at it. And I don't want other people to look, and be like, oh my God, Marley, what the fuck is she doing? Like, this is terrible. Respect. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I will say that, so like the Jessica Rabbit one was probably the most, I got a lot of like, a lot of love for that. And I have to say that like when I was doing the look and I was watching, like a lot of times when I'm doing something, I like to have the visual in front of me and I'm watching the movie and I'm trying to like embody her. And as I'm like doing the makeup, I'm like, this is terrible. Like I'm not, it's not giving sexy. I was just like, I look, I look hood as fuck. Like I'm not like, it's not giving what it's supposed to give, but and then at the end of it, like, I was like, I should have, you know, I want to record it on YouTube. Wasn't feeling very confident to record it. Um, and I think that just goes back into like, you know, she's kind of like, she's like this voluptuous, sexy. And like, it's just the, I was objectifying it instead right. of looking at like the art of it. Like she was a, a cartoon that somebody created. And um, I think it just, you know, like I, I try to put myself in that character instead of, that character being me. That's exactly what I was going to say to you. Yeah. That's exactly what I was going to ask you. Like, like uh, I know a lot of people who have a lot of tattoos in their bodies and they still do like tons of cosplay that requires their skin to show often. And I feel like when you do your stuff, like say with your Poison Ivy costume or like your Harley Quinn that you do, like you, you have been putting like yourself into these characters, right? Yeah. I, I like it that that is that is more fun that way. Yeah. At the end of the day, I'll never, you know, Harley Quinn, of course she's white, but like I'll never look exactly like that. 
Like I've got, I've got to be me being Harley Quinn instead of trying to knock everything down to a T. Like <laughs> you'll drive yourself crazy yeah. doing that. Yeah. Is that was that was that hard for you? Like um, I, I don't, I don't want to get like too too into the weeds with oh, this, right but uh, <laughs> like uh, like I, I like we know Afro Coco Coco Puffs, like she had like the song like uh is not in black, like she's gonna be black today, and you have been doing this for a while and you've been putting yourself out there like as as the glam goth for a while and it's uh it, it wasn't easy like in like like the, the years before 2020 to do what what a lot of folks like yourself is doing is it is it easier now or do you don't think like you helped pave the way for some of the folks who also put themselves out there <laughs> i wouldn't i wouldn't say pave the way but i definitely just the just seeing it, you, you know, just somebody seeing me doing whatever it is that I'm doing. Growing up, never saw not a soul, right. not anyone just always thinking that like, I was like the weirdo, the stuff and not just maybe acknowledging that like a lot of other black people are sharing that same experience. And if I just maybe was a little bit more vulnerable about how, you know, different I wanted to be or how I could have, you know, I could have been Harley Quinn for Halloween in high school, but instead, you know, I've decided to be some something else. So I wouldn't get made fun of instead right. of just, you know, doing it anyway. And I love that this younger generation is just like, they really don't care. They are just running <laughs> with it, absolutely. Do they're going to do whatever they, it is that they want to do. And I, I like that I, I made a small contribution to that. I like the way yeah, you put that, that small contribution, good. right on. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you and I went to, went to high school in the same era back in the 90s. So like uh, we, uh, we definitely probably have shared experiences. So like uh, I, I get that, that feeling all too well. I don't mean to age you or anything, but like uh, I know that feeling of being like uh, the only black person in a situation where like you just want to, you just want to shine. So no, I get it. And like, <laughs> I thank you for your contribution. Thank you. That means a lot. Yeah, I always tell people it's, um, I am having a lot of fun, but it's also, you know, it's been just very isolating um, because still, you know, we're Black people ourselves, we're such individuals, Right. you know, we're, we're, we all come from such a different experience. And my main thing is that your black experience and my black experience is two completely different, but that doesn't take away that they're both black experiences. There you go. Absolutely. Like, you know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Yes. Like I grew up, you know, I learned how to read at a early age. If my mom heard me say, you know, tr say some like cuss words, talk like I'm from the hood, she'd be like, absolutely not. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, but that doesn't mean that like, I didn't like go through hard times. That doesn't mean, I think that we look too much at the outside and we look too much. If somebody doesn't look like this and talk like this, then they, they don't like black culture. They're not a part of black culture. They want to be white. They want to be this. And it's like, no, not at all. <laughs> not even a little, not even in the slightest, you know, but I, I'm people. always talking about the black diaspora and the black experience. And like, we all don't have the same black experience. And no, but like we, we, we all still fighting for the same, the same cause, which is equality. So no, I, exactly. I get that completely. Exactly. <laughs> uh, tell me about like, uh, the dark Renaissance. I just watched your video on YouTube. So tell me, tell me a little bit about that. Thank you. Um, the dark Renaissance, I've always been very obsessed with the Renaissance era. And, you know, again, never seeing in any Renaissance movie, any Renaissance theme, any Renaissance aesthetic, just no black people, none. And I'm like, and I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, I know there was some black people there. <laughs> like, I know there was, you know, there had to be like a Victorian queen or whatever. And just, yeah, and then I always kind of like, even if it doesn't exist, I'm going to make it exist I'm gonna make it within myself. So, and just my love for horror movies, my love for just dark and glamorous things. And I decided to just put it together and it, it came out really great. I'm, I'm very proud of that. I am too. Like, it looks amazing. Uh, I, I like the, like the traction you're getting for it. Like, it seems like a lot of people are really jumping on it. Your YouTube blew up when you put this out there. It's, uh, it's a big thing. <laughs> 
Thank you. Thank you. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm excited that, that people like it. I always kind of like, sometimes I'm just like, okay, you know, it's too, it's too dark. It's too deathly. It's too, you know, I got a, you know, blood bath, you know, again with the blood, you know, like, <laughs> like I, I'm always just like, oh, people are like, oh God, like, what is she doing over there? Like, she's so dark, but then like, I get such a good response that I'm like, oh, okay. People like this. <laughs> right on it seems like it goes back to you uh you you put a lot of yourself into your work and wondering how people are going to see it i like that because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you never know you know no. especially when i don't want to say trauma but that like oh that's what you like and oh that's that's weird or we don't want to watch that we, you know can, can we watch this horror movie no we don't want to watch that and how it can just carry you carry it with you through your adult life and then to put it on social media where like it's not just like your friends and family can see it everyone, everyone. can see it and everyone's judging you and everyone's looking at it so it's just it's it's really fucking cool that like you know, just people just love what I do. Like there, there's no greater feeling than that. I'll say that. And you have so many people who love what you do. Uh, well, some of the people who actually like, like what you do is uh, Mary Wyatt. You had an interview with them not too long ago, uh, last year, right? Yeah, she's so cool from the UK, makes <laughs> super cool clothes, love her. And uh, she asked you a few questions about uh, about yourself, about like how you see golf. And she asked you one question that really stood out to me. Like I said, how would you describe your style in three words? And you said elegant, minimal, and rock star. Do you still see yourself like that? I do. Yes, I do. I think that those three specific words, a lot can go into it. Like for minimal, in exi for example, a lot of people may think that she's not minimal. Why is she lying? But <laughs> minimal as the terms too, I'm very committed to black. Like I don't really wear anything else. It may be black with sparkles on it, but to me, my when I walk into my closet and I see all black clothes, that's minimal to me. You know, I'm very, when I say minimal, I mean like I'm very committed to my aesthetic. I get that. No, I get that completely. Like you, you have like a way you want to see things, and like just like the diaspora of black people, like the word minimal has a different meaning to you. Also, I like that. Yeah. Yes. And uh, <clears throat> she also asked you about the uh, the the people you want to talk about and putting out there, like uh, Lady it was Lady Silif and uh, uh, Sadis Sadis Tit. I think that's what it's called. I think I'm saying that correct. And uh, Sasha Mas Sasha Mascara. Sasha Massacre, yes, yes. Sasha, Sasha um, Massacre, then, yeah. Yes, and then uh, I, I call her Coral. <laughs> um, she's uh, also a good friend of mine. She lives in New York with her partner. Just people that I, um, I, I don't want to call them my muses, but people who really, when I am creating, um, I keep them in mind. I'm always like, oh, this would, you know, look so cool on her, or, you know, would she like this, or would he like this, would they like this, like, um, I try to like take myself out of it and you, cause you know, Sasha massacre, she's, she's white, but, and she's like the complete opposite of me. I'm like, if I wasn't me, like, just like glam goth in, in the sense of like, she's tall, white, skinny, but she has this like energy. She has this aura that I love as opposed to Coral, who is just punk rock as fuck. She's grungy. She's cut a little trashy, but she's super sweet and she's super kind. Like it's just all these different elements that, uh, alternative people in general have that I really admire. Like it's not just goth glam. It's just everything in, 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 in itself. And I love it. I love people when <laughs> who are themselves. Is there, is there anything new and uh, exciting coming from golf land? Like I think we should be looking out for it. Like, uh, like I said before, you are a hot topic now, which is, you know, congratulations to that. Thank you. Thank you. Is, is there anything um, else that we should be looking out for? I am coming out with a holiday collection. Um, I don't want to say the name. I don't want to give it away, but it is family oriented in a sexy glamorous way i'll say that <laughs> um it's very hot it's very it's halloween um inspired it's from the 60s um really cool family that i've kind of taken into my own and we're doing a whole like little trailer for it little mini movie um 
just really expanding. I usually do like three to four lipsticks. Now I'm doing six. Um, the cover on the palette is very risque. <laughs> I'll I'm, say. I'm trying to but, figure um, it out. Sorry, I'm just like sixties family. Is it a Brady Bunch? You gave me the Brady Bunch. Go on. I'm, I'm all ears. <laughs> it's a it's it's a small gothic version of the Brady Bunch. What? But, Are you serious? Was that right? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. It's not the Brady Bunch. Okay. But it has that. It has that that energy. Right on. So, yeah. <laughs> and just more I want it um you know running a business is really hard it, yeah. Uh, it, yeah I spend a lot of time doing a lot of work and it takes away from my creative time but I really want to get back into doing more cosplays last year I found out that that's something that I really love to do it <laughs> really cool. feeds my inner child it's not about being pretty or dressing up it's just that embodiment of the character as myself so definitely you will see more of that oh. uh, <laughs> sorry i got, got a little nerdy there for a second Woo. uh any, any any characters we should be looking out for are you taking recommendations uh <laughs> I would love some recommend recommendations. People tell me all the time, like, I'll be like, tell me what to do. I'll do it. <laughs> tell me what to do. Like, after Harley Quinn and Poison Ivy, which was, like, growing up, those were my two, like, just love the, just love yeah. the Harley Quinn character as a whole, uh, as we all do. But just, you know, open my eyes to, like, some new shit. Give me some anime. Give me something to watch. Ooh. Give me something to dive into. Let me go to another world for a little bit. <laughs> That's cool. I'm ready. I'm so, I'm so, so here for this. Definitely. Yes. Uh, I, I want to say Starfire. <laughs> I've been watching Titan. So like, I'm going to say Starfire. That's, that's my go-to right there. But Starfire? I'm, I'm here for whatever. Okay. Okay. I'm going to do it just because you, just because you brought it up. Just because you asked. I'm, I'm going to be looking out for it. I'm going to hold you to it. I'm going to hold you to it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'll commit to that. I'll make sure it, it comes out really good. I'll do like, that. Your your clothing choices are incredible, and my goodness, like uh, again, you are a guest on my shows. So I'm going to watch what I say, but uh, your clothing choices are amazing. Like uh, something to be admired by by folks who who dress in the manner that you dress up, and uh, like the colors pop on you. Like the the style is amazing. It goes from punk to super hardcore glam to very. Uh, uh, <clears throat> Uh, very very Nicki Minaj s even like some some <laughs> Fenty style also like you you go and like even even Ivy like you you go like uh like some Beyonce like like s inside of you also like you go like a lot of different routes when it comes to your your wardrobe and it's amazing and it looks good on you so um it's anything we should be looking out for when it comes to that ah uh, you know what when it comes to clothes I kind of just do what works and what fits. Um, not to be like whatever, but for a long time, I, I didn't like my body. I, uh, you know, got hips and boobs at a very young age and it took a while for me to be like, you know, like I'm going to accentuate this and I'm going to, I'm going to wear what feels good. And I remember just like going to the thrift store. Cause you know, for, we didn't have fast fashion growing up. We didn't have, we had the thrift store H and M and maybe forever 21 like maybe. later on maybe <laughs> you know growing up didn't have a lot of money like you know was working at the mall uh, going to hot topic buying band tees cutting them up we didn't i didn't get the experience of buying pre-made like cut up t-shirts like my shit looked dingy because i was being dingy <laughs> <laughs> washing it by hand and make sure you get Washing that dingy them, off. oh yeah you know buying those new pair of, of Converse and buying those new pair of Vans and just wearing them every single day. So <laughs> Rub, rubbing them on the morning. ground. The yes. Oh yeah, dude. <laughs> yes. uh, and, 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 me, traveling musician. No, I get it. Back in the metal <laughs> band. Like you got, you got to look, have a look, rub some salt on the clothes, yes. make it a little faded. No, I get it. I get it. Yes. So I always like, even now, like when it's like designer bags or whatever, cause like I can, kind of afford it now but I'll always still buy thrift store stuff I'm so I love a character I love a I love something with a with a story I love something that's like oh you know maybe it belonged to some you know rich old lady in the 1950s you know what I mean like I'm just I'm weird no that's that's how I that's the story like they all have a story attached to it. that's how I look at thrift store stuff also like I wonder who this belonged to and like right. if they got yeah. it from somebody else also no I get it yes 
yes but i'm 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 working to a place where like i can create within the creation so instead of you know i mean i'll always thrift store but like if i could really come like if i'm doing a character and doing a look and i can get something custom made like that's you know i'm ready to take it up to that step where it's it's not more so i'm i'm just elevating just elevating and being more inspiring that's like that's my goal that's 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 a goal to to achieve i'm pretty sure all the people who are listening right now are are very we're getting very happy about hearing this and like and yeah. i'm grateful that you're sharing this like thank you so much uh i ask this question to everyone who's on the show every episode and i gotta ask you this also like you've been doing this for i think 2016 was your first post on instagram and that's a very good while and a lot of people have been helping you out through all this like i know you do a lot of yourself but you got a lot of friends a lot of fans who love your work what would you like to say to all those people who've had your back this entire time I would just say thank you for keeping me alive. You know, like I, um, not to be like very conscious right now, but I kind of have these moments where I'm just like, what is all of this for? Like, why are we, what are we doing? You know, and to have a reason to do something, you know, there's a lot of times where I'm just like, I really do not feel like doing that. And I'll kind of get like a comment or a post that's like, you haven't uploaded in a while, you know? And I'm just like, oh, okay. Like, you know, I, I need, I thank you for that kick in the ass. Cause I need it. I'm, I'm, I, I'm a person, I do what I feel. And if I don't feel like doing it and I know I'm not gonna do it well, I'm not, it's gonna be unsatisfactory. Why bother, you know? And then I'm, uh, I can be very pessimistic and so, to have that kind of that positive input that I didn't have growing up is just, is amazing. And that's really the real reward through all of this. And to me, that's the real success through all of this is that there's people that didn't know me, I don't know them and they don't really know me, but they're, you know, helping me chug along the way. And, and it just means a lot, it means a lot. And I think that the sense of community is not lost at all. You know, with social media, it's kind of, it's a very selfish, you know, it's like, hey, look at me, look at me, look at me. But I want people to know that like, I am a group effort. <laughs> I may do everything myself, but this is this is a group effort and I'm, I'm very grateful. I wouldn't trade this for anything. Wow. Um... <clears throat> Uh, you got me with that one. That was, uh, <laughs> that, was <so> long. <laughs> that was touching you. That was wow. Uh, I, I feel that I really do. That was wow. Like you are a very strong person, very strong will person. And, uh, I'm pretty sure on behalf of me, I'm pretty sure all your fans, like, uh, I thank you for doing you. Thank you for putting you out there. It is something to like, to witness, to withhold, like to stand and see every single day, like a person who looks similar to myself doing what you're doing and living the alt punk metal uh glam golf life like it's it's it feels good it really does so yeah. thank you so much for doing what you're doing thank you for having me thank you i feel a little lighter <laughs> sometimes you know like, <laughs> i don't really like get to you know somebody who can really understand what i'm saying so to say it to someone that it can really resonate with thank you thank you a lot absolutely this, this thank you so much for being on where can people where can people find you i'm pretty sure that sounds kind of redundant right now but where can people find you <laughs> people can find me if you type in glam goth beauty you can find my website i have a lot more coming just a lot more more than makeup i know i'm kind of I'm getting a little sick of makeup myself I'm not as superficial. I have some substance. I want to do more stuff, not even just buying stuff, just more, maybe even like cinematic or just more content in general. I am a storyteller. I love to create and I love for people to just have an experience with me. So, uh, and definitely on Instagram at the glam goth. Um, just go to Google and type in glam goth and you'll see my big ass head. <laughs> just, cut up, just cut out the middle man. Like, don't worry about that other yeah. Just, just type just in glam goth. <laughs> That's what I've been telling people also. Just go to Google. Type in that show on Who cares? <laughs> save, save yourself the work. 
Might as well, right? <laughs> uh, this, this has been great. I really hope to have you on here again. Like, this has been so much fun. Uh, <laughs> thank you. Of course. Anytime. Everyone, this has been D after another talk. Um, Marley, again, uh, you are sensational. Absolutely. And then some. So, again, thank you. Thank you so much. And enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you. Bye.